All right, it's time for another Crosstown Conversation. Previously, I talked to Tom Bolden, head coach of Lakota West, and Steve Specht, head coach of St. Xavier. Today, we're going to talk to a player and a darn good one. Drew Novak, the quarterback senior at Western Brown High School. We get ready for the 25-year anniversary of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. Western Brown hosting, defending state champ Clinton Massey on Friday night. So it's my pleasure to chat with Drew, ask him a couple questions about what it's like to throw the ball around every Friday night. And uh, what is it like to do that every – I mean, did, is this something when you were growing up as a kid, did you know you wanted to be a quarterback? Uh, so when I started, I was, I think, seven. And I wanted to be a safety, actually. But really? Then, yeah, I just – What Curiously, why? I mean, I guess when you're seven, you don't yeah, really know, right? I just watched Troy Polamalu. He was my favorite player. So I just, I just liked watching him. But then I just started throwing it and – my dad was my coach, and he just thought the idea to put me a quarterback and good never move, back. right? I guess. Yeah, so. I mean, it's, I guess so. It so, out. what? When did you did you have any idea as you were growing up and getting a little older? And obviously, you were about six five, right? Is that yeah? Okay. Did you so the size fits? Did you did you have the kind of the strong arm? Was there a, was there an age? Was there a, a a level of play where where people said, okay, this kid's going to be a good quarterback someday? Um, I'd say probably around middle school a little bit the varsity coach at the time started just like coming to the games and he just thought I was good I guess and then the next year started varsity after week three I think so I guess it's pretty good when you've passed Ben Roethlisberger and Joe Burrow uh, just two just random Ohio high school names which you did I mean you, you're now number three on the all-time career passing list and unless unless literally you play about 50 more games you're probably not going to be number two or number one because it's it's insane you're closing in on 12,000 career passing yards but maybe not now but do you ever sit back and go Roethlisberger Burrow and I I've got more yards than that you ever think about that yeah when I first heard the names I was just mind blown like hearing those names like my, my name in the conversation with those guys is just crazy to hear so I mean it's it, now have you ever met Either of the two? I have not, no. Okay. So I, Joe Burrow didn't reach out and go. No. Didn't say anything like he's probably more focused on the Jets. Someone, but, I think someone did mention yesterday in an interview about me to him, and he was, he was, he was surprised, I think. Well, and, and, and you know, th this game on Friday night, and, and I know you're not about the, the individual kind of accolades, if you will. And, and you're a senior, and, and this program now has really kind of gotten itself to where you're, you know, you're among those that people talk about it. How big is Friday night? How big is the Clinton Massey game? Is, is this the one where, you know, there are, there are kids in their high school careers, they look at a, a game. Is this one for you? I mean, you were close last year, and then this is your senior season. Is this, is this that, that game? Yeah, I think this is definitely that game. You know, we've never beat them, Will, like, in while I've been here. And just they're the defending state champions, and they're just a really great coach team, very talented team, and I think – it would be a great game. Now, just think if you had been the quarterback of Clinton Massey, it would be a whole different story, <laughs> wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, they've, completed, they've completed, what, seven passes all year. But t talk about the, the guys for you, your receivers and your offensive line, because I know obviously if you watch any games, you have to have the offensive line, you got to have the time to throw, and then you got to have the guys to go out and catch the ball. Yeah, they do a great job, you know, mainly, mostly seniors, all experienced. The receivers, you know, we got Matt Fry, Isaiah, so Isaiah Smith, Zach Chisman, just some of those guys. And then the line, they do a great job giving me time to throw the ball. It's just for an offense, everybody has to do their job for us to be successful. And I think they've done a great job with that this year. How, how big and how cool will the atmosphere be Friday night? I mean, it's you're, you're accustomed to this while most schools don't know anything about Brown County Fair Week. Yeah. Western Brown certainly does. But you know it'll be a great atmosphere. You know Clinton Massey. And, you know, we talked to Coach Nick Osborne, and you look at their 2-4 and four record, and they're not a 2-4 and four football team. Yeah. They've obviously played a difficult schedule. But for you to get over that Massey hurdle against their defense, what do you individually have to do? Uh, I think it's just keeping everybody under control, you know, not, like, getting stupid fa personal fouls or nothing or just, like, thinking, oh, my God, this is a state championship, just keeping everybody calm and collected. So now how about you as a quarterback? Do you have a favorite quarterback? Quarterbacks, are there guys that you, when you determine, okay, I'm going to be a quarterback, guys you tried to emulate? Uh, I'm a big Trevor Lawrence guy. I've been a fan of him since really? like his senior year of high school, I think. Yeah, I think we're both alike, and I 
try to model my game a little bit after him. Hair a little bit, too. A little maybe bit, a little yeah. bit having, okay, got to maybe not as long as yeah, Lawrence. Not, not but, uh, and he's off to a pretty good start. Oh, yeah. Which goes to show you again – you got to get some guys around a guy right. to give him a chance. So now, obviously, you want to play at the next level, and 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 you know you've got the size, you've obviously got the numbers. What do you find? And it, it's I, I know it's I'll use Drew Drew Ramsey, who was a Mister Everything for Elder, and had to, you know really didn't get any offers. Had to be a a walk on at the University of Cincinnati after putting up. He was back to back. GCL South Player of the Year. I mean, to me, that that warrants playing in college. Mm-hmm. What, what do you find? Is it how, how difficult has it been, the recruiting process, and, and trying to show people that you can play at the next level? Uh, it's been pretty hard, especially being out of a school like this. Like most times when I go to like big places, they never heard of the school, so it's just trying to get your name out there and. It's just it's getting tough, but it's picking up a little bit. I think we're just starting to make a name for ourselves. I would think twelve thousand passing yards ought to be worse. I mean, I'm not a college <laughs> recruiter, but I, I do know. And is that something that, that you feel like? Do do you fight that game a little bit? Like you know, d- how do you keep out of your mind trying to do too much? You know what I mean? Because I yeah. think it's natural when you want to play at the next level. You try to. D- does that something you ever think about? Like I just got to be myself and play my game and do what I do and. And where the chips fall, they fall. Yeah, I try to just not let it get to my head. Sometimes it'll, it gets in there a little bit, but most of the time I just let, it, let the chips fall where it happens. You know, it'll happen. All right, so let's talk Friday night. For you guys to – last year, 42-35, to 35, a game that I know maybe you guys probably felt like you were right there and, and could have won. What, what's it going to take – and you've lost once this year on the road at Jackson. A big win last week because New Richmond was undefeated. And maybe I know in the first half you guys didn't feel like you played as well as you can. What will it take Friday night to knock off Clinton Massey? Uh, I think offensively-wise, we're, you know, we're not going to get many opportunities, I don't think, because Massey does a great job of just controlling the clock. But when we do get stops, we definitely have to capitalize every single time. So let me ask you a final couple questions about Western Brown High School, about going here, being a senior, and just uh, how much fun has it been? I mean, you grew up here, obviously, and, and, and you've, you've played here your whole career. How, what would you like people to know about Western Brown, about just the experience that you've had here at Western Brown High School? It's a great community. You know, everybody is just so nice around here. Everybody shows up to the game supporting. We have pep rallies. It's just it's a great community. And speaking of pep rallies, we'll have one coming up. I know you guys enjoyed that. I, th- I believe you were our trivia contestant last I was year. Not, no, you weren't? Cameron Weil. Okay, all right. So I wasn't a question, though. You, okay, you were in a question, So and, and who knows, you might sneak your way in there this time. Maybe. But we'll be at the Mount Oreb Skyline Chili a little bit later for a, uh, for a pep rally. But, no, con- congratulations on a great career so far. Thank and, you. Uh, Best of luck Friday night, and uh, I think he doesn't know, and, and I believe him, he's, he needs 155 yards to become number three next up on the list. So uh, good luck on Friday, good luck the rest of the year, and we'll see you out here. Crosstown Conversation with Drew Novak, quarterback, senior at Western Brown High School, nearing 12,000 career passing yards. This has been a Crosstown Conversation as we celebrate the 25-year anniversary of the Skyline Chili Crosstown Showdown. Presented by Mercy Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Good Mercy Health School here, too. Western Brown and Meyer. We'll see you at the game Friday night.